Well, my practice is almost totally diabetes and thyroid disease, so I see patients with diabetes uh, all the time. Uh, in my practice, I've had patients who've had diabetes type 1 for almost 50 years, as well as people with newly diagnosed diabetes. So for me, uh, diabetes has been the passion of my career and uh, trying to help people manage it well. Our body has nerves all over it, and when you touch something, when something feels warm or hot or you hurt, those are your nerves firing. And if you think of a nerve like a spaghetti, string of spaghetti, uh, and around that nerve um, is jello. Um, and jello can have higher or lower levels of sugar. When your sugar is high, as it is in diabetes, that nerve starts to fire, that spaghetti starts to shake and it continues to shake for a long time until it gets tired and then it stops working and then you don't have feeling anymore. So when we talk about diabetic neuropathy, the first thing I always tell patients is that your blood sugar control matters with diabetic neuropathy. So if you can improve your glucose or sugar control, then many times your neuropathy can get better because you're decreasing that sugar that's making that nerve fire so much. But the problem is that if your blood glucoses remain high for a long period of time, or that environment that that nerve is in is very sweet, if you will, that nerve eventually will die back. And so patients will often say to me, you know, my feet were hurting for a long time, but now they don't hurt. And that's actually progression or movement forward of diabetic neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy are hands and feet. And when we talk about peripheral neuropathy, that's the most common form of diabetic neuropathy, where the hands become a little bit numb, you sometimes can't feel your coffee cup, or your feet hurt at night and then become numb so that you can't feel the floor when you're standing. Peripheral neuropathy, or stocking glove neuropathy as we call it, um, is something that we can see with long-standing diabetes and is something that we want to recognize. Many of our patients when they come to see us will see us pull out a little filament called a monofilament. They always think we're getting ready to prick their feet with a needle, but we're really not. It's like a hair. And when you test the feet with this monofilament, that can help us decide if a patient has peripheral neuropathy or not. So the first thing and the most important thing is to fix the blood glucose control. So you really want to try to watch your diet, make sure you exercise, and talk with your health provider about what interventions, whether it's a pill or even in some cases insulin, um, will help make those blood glucoses better. Not all patients will need insulin. And so insulin is not the treatment for peripheral neuropathy. We have things we can do to help improve the neuropathy. Don't be scared. I think a lot of times when you have symptoms that you don't understand, they can be frightening for you and you tend to avoid going to your health provider. In this case, get in there because we know that there are some things that we can do to at least stabilize, if not improve, uh, diabetic peripheral neuropathy. The other thing I would tell patients that they need to be thoughtful about is the way they walk or the way they touch things. So you don't want to be putting your hands on a hot stove if you have peripheral neuropathy. You want to be very thoughtful about what you're doing when you're cooking. When you're walking, if you're unstable, for goodness sakes, get a cane or have someone refer you to physical therapy so you can prevent yourself from falling. So the other reason it's important for patients to be aware of diabetic complications in general is that they need to own their disease. And I feel very strongly, having taken care of patients for a lot of years with this disease, that this is a disease that you can absolutely live with. But you have to be thoughtful and you have to know the side effects and complications of uncontrolled diabetes, one of them being neuropathy.